welcome back to another episode of The Sims Medieval Pirates and Nobles. We were just in the middle of the quest where we talk with the crab bandits underneath the cave, underneath Cotton Candy World. And we were just about to stretch it a bit so we can get our uh, platinum performance. So we're just gonna get in a better mood a little bit so it stays up because these buffs gonna wear off soon. And this is how they we. It is so weird because if you think about it now, women actually sit down in man stand. So let's just wash her hands and her face and everything to get in a better mood. Even though she doesn't have those needs. And um, we're just gonna push it up to platinum a bit. So we're gonna have more security automatically from a quest so we can focus also on other stats and of course build other stuff as well for example the spy or anything else by the way the magician is really cool as well here we go the known pixels of the sims you can also get a naked cheat or could get it before on the sims 2 or a mod but to be honest, we don't really need it, considering that YouTube would give me a strike probably anyways, and that we need censoring anyway, so it probably doesn't matter. And I never played with that naked sheet. My friend did before, but I don't really did. And she, I saw it, I actually saw it on her PC, and they look like naked Barbies, literally. So there's not much to see there, so... If you want to guys have that, you can go ahead and play it on your own game, but I'm not going to show it on YouTube, that's not... Mm. That's not fair, is it? So, let's have her have this bath. And it went up a little. Let's let her go to sleep. We're speeding it up. Then we just have to make... No. The mustache wax. Where we bought everything. We bought one bottle of ink, one eel, and one leech. And what is that? War crime stocker. Not sure why we would read that. Alright, let's get her up. Um, here we go, mustache wax. In hyperspeed of course, and we gotta do other stuff. Before we continue, a fine wax, I hope this pleases the crab bandit. Yeah, me too. We're gonna give it to him in a second, we have to ask two citizens about life in Cotton Candy World. And we're gonna read the war crimes docket. Ah, this is why we got it. Alright, let's ask two citizens about the life in Cotton Candy World. And I want to hear good. Or at least good. Or amazing. Or Kuruki needs to have a high relationship. Ooh, no, not this again. Alright, so do impersonation. Perform sleight of hand. Tell a joke. Here we go. What is this guy doing? He's like talking with his little doll. I didn't know what magic was, but apparently there are. Uh, tell funny stories. Friendly. Ask about musical preferences. Friendly. Get to know, friendly, as how far the, no idea what it means, but we're going up in the little bit over here. Oh, wait, ate his parents, he's punny as well, and he is vain, I see, what are we by the way, we're friendly, good, and punny. Okay, now I can ask him. So, how's the life in my beloved cotton candy world? I suppose he didn't answer, like, as such that we can. Alright, let's ask this guy, even though he's not from here. Um, funny, do impersonation, funny, tell a joke, funny, perform slight fan, friendly, ask how far the friendly get to know. And we should soon be able to ask him, ask about musical preferences. Alright, we can ask him now. <laughs> Alright, we've done one bit. Now, let's go up, have some food, beer soup again. And we made it to platinum, just noticed that. So lucky about that, so happy. We're just gonna read this book, because if this is gonna go on the negative in 10 hours, then 
we've done it then it goes back to gold and we won't get the maximum power out of it no what are you doing you just made yourself food so eat it don't waste it just because i told you to read the war crimes afterwards all right now i can read the war crimes This particularly unsearchable guildsman was judged guilty of the heinous war crimes of which they were accused. I take great pleasure in signing this arrest warrant. Alright. Sign royal arrest warrant, which we, by the way, have now everything up because we've actually done stuff. Sign royal warrant. Oh, she has nice clothes, and she looks nice and purplish. Mm. She looks almost like she has a, a glitter thing on. Oh, I don't know why it does that. Maybe I'm just retarded or something. Who knows? Okay, she signed it. Now we gotta go to the stocks. Send the guildsman to the stocks. Monarch. Um, send to stocks. Let's go. Let's go. And let's ultra fast go. I think there's no difference to be honest between two and uh, between three and four and the speed. Somebody just burped. The constable is on his way to arrest Christian. Jesus Christ, man! James, va zes pagrel. Da vintons yamok barem vitos. All right, that's it. Now that we've done that, and he's gonna send to the stocks, we can go to the cave and deliver the mustache wax. And also zoom a bit in so we can see the action. Which means she's just go gonna come out again. And he's gonna talk to her again. This time Lady Kuruki had difficulty finding the crab bandit's lair. She was turned around in the endless identical caverns. Finally, however, she stumbled across a small altar cut into the rock, complete with indentations that perfectly held the bottle of wax. How could the crab bandit have known? Well, I don't know about that. Request complete. The crab bandit's mustache will be the finest in the land once more. That's it. All three requests are complete. I should try and meet with the crab bandit one more time to make sure that the alliance is finalized. Oh my god, stop talking to the queen while she's busy, please. Thank you very much. The request had been fulfilled. It was time for Lady Kuruki and the crab bandit to finalize the alliance between Koti Candleworld and the underground crab kingdom. She carefully approached the crab bandit. Um, hello, she said to the beast. I'm here about the, uh, the tokens. Gratitude tokens? Something like that. The crab bandit gave a slight nod towards Lady Kuruki. A slight smile tucked at the corners of his crabby mouth. Once the smell of crabs scuttled forward and handed Lady Kuruki a magnificent mustache, modeled after the crab bandit's own finisful whisker, the alliance was secured. This mustache signifies our alliance. I should put it on the basque in the glory of a safer, stronger cotton candy world. So, crab mustache. Cannot sell item gear. I can wear it. Really? Oh my god, I look fabulous. <laughs> Magnificent. Congratulations, Karuki has reached Monarch level 3. Review your Sim Simology tab for new professions benefits. A monarch is the sole ruler of the land. Great responsibility falls on the Sim as his or her leadership and decisions affect everyone in the kingdom. Level 3 benefits. Whirling takedown special combat move unlocked. Fighting proficiency slightly increased. Oh my god, I look fabulous with a mustache. <laughs> And we've done it. So this is gonna be a short episode considering that it's the quest end. But we've got three points. We got plus 2,000 money. So we leveled up as well. And we got roll point points 50. Crab Bandit. The alliance between Cotton Candy World and the Subterranean Crab Bandit Kingdom was complete. 
Better yet, Lady Kuroki had come out of the deal exactly one mustache richer. This amazing badge of splendor could be worn at any time. So we got a mustache now, that's amazing. And it says, you've completed the quest, a platinum mummy. Absolutely amazing. <coughs> As the renew, re, renown of Cati, Coti, Ca, Cotton Candy World grew, its political standing amongst the various foreign territories also rose. Before long, Cotton Candy World found itself in dire need of grand accommodations to house the ever-increasing flow of visiting foraging dignitaries. So with a flurry of activity and peasant groaning, the ground reception hall was finally unveiled. Amazing. So we got now a hall here. I think we can furnish it. We're gonna do that now, actually. I know it's not part of another quest, but this video is otherwise gonna be short compared to the other ones. So we just... Oh, it's already furnished. That's amazing. We just changed the colors then instead. Alright, we know what we want for those colors. Can I... No, okay. We already know what kind of colors we want. We want turquoise again, of course, with pink. So we're just gonna change it to that. Oh. So it all. Oh my god, that's not what I want it. Back. That should be easy for us, considering we already done it a couple times. Oh, we can't see more than that. Okay. Um, but it's but people can definitely see that this is where I live, <laughs> where we are gonna have all the stuff. I'm gonna make it turquoise in there as well. Now the stove. All right. Of course, pink. This is the only thing we can make pink, then we make it pink. Uh, we're gonna make... Hold on a second. We're gonna make the background, of course, in the... As well, in this color. So, we're just gonna paste it. And a woman. We got it. Oh. Got it again. And... Got it again. We might as well. I don't know if we shall leave it like that or if we shall go a bit. We go a bit darker actually because it looks kind of cool. Um, I'm sure we go even in pink. We go in pink actually because I don't know. It kind of looks good. So now we have it like. like we leave it like. A little bit like. Okay, so that looks kind of good. Um, we can change that to turquoise then. We're gonna need this here and put it easily on here. Copy paste. Easy job done. And here we go. We're gonna need our turquoise again and change this into turquoise. So it fits ish. Or we make it purple. I'm not quite sure about that yet. We're gonna make this definitely purple. We need that pink colour again. Oh shit, that's not what I want to do. No 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 change, yes. We're gonna need a pink colour again. I pressed by accident V instead of C. And we're gonna have it on the floor. Perfect. Just perfect. We're gonna have it here on the floor as well. And in here, oh, maybe we can make this in pink as well. I didn't thought of that. Let's just have a look what it would look like. It would look fabulous. We make this floor in turquoise, I reckon. So let's just go here and copy that and paste it in. And there we go. Looks not so bad. Then we make this one purple instead, considering that we already made the floor. Oh no, we can leave it like that. It looks alright. I thought it would look too much like turquoise stuff, but it actually looks quite sweet. So we're gonna change this up into turquoise. And we're gonna make this purple again. I'm just gonna change it. So it's gonna be... Um, maybe more like a bluish purple. 
Okay, so nice and purple. Nicely done. Now copy it over here, over here. Everything nice and purple so it fits together. This is a different kind of chair, I have to do this differently. Um, this bit. Eh. I need this one to be purple too. And I, I see this is. This is a good way that we do this in this episode, so we can focus on the next one completely on another quest. So that we have the furnishing out of the way. What is it doing? Oh, here we go. That looks perfect and purple. It looks really good. Oh, we can change this. Well, let's change it to purple then. I never was actually quite a purple fan, but now I think it's quite fitting actually. Um, now we need both the purple again for this. Does this look fine? Yeah, that looks good. Here a bit, and there a little bit of it. But we can change this. Amazing. Not sure. No, I make it pink. I'm not pink more than purple. Okay, and um, this bit is the bottom that I do things so yeah it is. We could go with turquoise or with pink, but we make a purple instead to have a bit of purple going on there. And um, I'm just checking if we can make anything else in a different colour. Doesn't look like it. So we just move on to the chairs, which is the kingly chairs I suppose. Um, we make it of course pink with turquoise again. We just copy this onto this chair and on this one we change the fabrics to our favourite ones. And we change the colours of it to pink again with turquoise like we have it before. This bit. Well, well. Which colour? Probably pink. Even though turquoise look good, but purple would look better, but we go with pink. Like this. Looks good to me so far. It's done actually, so it looks good to me. There we go. I see you in the next episode to a new quest of our kingdom. And yeah, I hope you like it. Until then, bye! <laughs>